Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new piercing reaction video. So today I'm going to be doing one of your favourites actually and that is reacting to your own personal horror stories. So I went from my last video and I'm scrolling through the comments, i got my phone right here ready to go um, and I'm going to read through some of your own personal horror stories. As always, if you are new or you haven't posted a story, please comment down below your personal horror stories and maybe in the next video I'll read yours out. I will be going to this one to find them. So if you have posted one already and I haven't read it out, you're more than welcome to repost the same comment on this one and hopefully in the next one I will get to yours. So let's get aboard the trigger train, choo choo, and let's get going. Not too bad of a horror story, but my mum told me about when she was younger. One day she decided she wanted loads of helix slash cartilage piercings. She already had her first and second low piercings done, but she wanted seven more on each ear. Oh my God. That same day we went to her local tattoo piercing shop and she proceeded to get 14 piercings all one after another uh, with a bit, with a, oh, uh, uh, she had. 14 piercings done in one session with a piercing gun. That was a choice. 14 piercings all one after another with a piercing gun. Most of them got infected. She waited a year and got them re-pierced at the same place also with a piercing gun. Why? Why is she doing the same thing twice? Why? Why? I mean, I get the fact that this is probably like a slightly different time because if she's your mum and she's doing this, yeah, it would have been quite a while ago when needles, you know, weren't as frequently used for this kind of stuff. But still, the worst part is that she knew that piercing gun shattered your car. Oh, well that just, <laughs> she knew that the piercing gun shattered her cartilage. She didn't care because they were cheaper, three pound. Oh my God. So I retract what I just said. She knew that it wasn't good for her, but she did it just because she didn't want to fork out the money. You get what you pay for. I don't feel sorry for you. Soz, I'm sorry, but I don't feel sorry for you. 14 cartilage piercings in one day, shattering a cartilage, shattery wattery. Your ear is probably like deformed or whatever, like because of that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Shrotty, what are you, longy, wongy, bishy, wishy. Beginning of sophomore year at college, I was really eager to get piercings, but didn't have the money to get it done professionally. I can see where this is going. So I bought a sewing needle, numbed my ear with ice, had my roommate stab my ear. It was cartilage, mind you, with no gloves. Hurt like a bish, and it got infected a week later, and I took it out anyway. When I got it re-pierced by a professional, I hardly felt a thing. Guys, 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 stop with the sewing. Again, sewing noodle stuff. I know this one isn't actually that bad, but I actually wanted to pick this one because she made a point of, when I got it re-pierced by a professional, I hardly felt a thing. Getting piercings done with a piercing needle will not hurt you as much as if you get a sewing needle and shove that through your ear. And yes, again, I'm always gonna get some people saying, well, mine didn't hurt as bad when I got mine done with a sewing needle. Well, good for you. But the majority of people, it's going to hurt horrendously. Ugh. Hashtag mass drop daddy. Okay, so when I was 17, I went to get my nipples pierced. You. You went to get your nipples pissed at 17? At this shop my friend always went to, she was 19. She knew the people there and told them I was 18 and they just trusted her and didn't check my ID. First red flag. Sake. I'm sorry, I just, uh, I'm sorry, but if you're under 18, you shouldn't be getting nipples pierced anyway. Like it's just, that's a, that's quite an intimate piercing. Like you shouldn't get that kind of stuff done unless you're over 18. The guy who pierced my nipples was still training. I found out later. And then he pierced them with a 16 gauge instead of a 14 gauge second red flag. Uh, I mean, that's not really a red flag. You like piercing size will vary from person to person. Like I've got mine done at 14, but you can get done at 16 depending on the size of your nipples. The same way that you would get your rook pierced like at 16 or 14 or whatever. Like you change it depending on like what size you've got things. So that's not not really a red flag, that's normal. The first one he pierced went through correctly on one side, but the other side was coming out the center of my nipple? What? So it was, what? So he pierced. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not normally lost for words. What? So it was going in and came out the front. He put the jewelry in and acted like nothing was wrong with it. He did the other one and turned around, turned out perfectly. Then he asked me how they looked and I was like, uh, that one looks kind of messed up. And he said, yeah, that's what I thought. So he was trying to get away with it basically. He took the jewelry out and there was literally blood dripping all the way down my stomach. He repierced it, which hurt twice as much. I wouldn't have let him redo it. I would have been like, no, I'm going somewhere else for the second one. I really don't like it when piercers don't just admit that they've done something wrong. Like, I'm sorry, as a professional piercer or whatever, like you cannot think that you are gonna get everything perfect every single time. I'm pretty sure my piercer Veronica has done a mistake now now and then like you can't have a 100% clean record like eventually you're going to do something wrong just admit that you did it wrong else I'm going to expose you <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? I had my septum pierced with a horseshoe ring in. My boyfriend at the time had his downstairs pierced. Well, I was giving him a happy ending. And well, I went to lean up and his downstairs snug on it. Oh my God, that's literally... 
Needless to say, my hoop and his hoop got stuck together and we were both freaking out. Thankfully, neither of us were hurt, just his pride. I couldn't even imagine. Obviously, I'm not going to do demonstrations or anything remotely because I want to be monetized. But I cannot imagine after performing that on your boyfriend and then you're coming back up and your septum piercing gets caught. That must literally be like terrifying. <laughs> I can't get up. And basically, he just didn't want you to stop. <laughs> Dirty, absolutely disgusting. Sorry in advance, really, you're about to be triggered, but well, we'll see about that. Seven months ago, I got both my nipples pierced. The pain wasn't even that bad and everything was amazing. Just a tiny bit of tenderness, that's it. Four months later, I was in the shower and listening to music. A bad song came on, so I leant out of the shower and next thing I know, metal was on the floor, followed by a river of blood. So what happened was the bar got caught in the groove of the shower. It managed to tear my whole nipple in three pieces off my chest. I got rushed into hospital and had three emergency plastic surgeries on my nipple breast and yeah I'm forever scarred quite literally oh my god so I'm assuming this was like the metal bit that holds like the shower head to like the shower itself and you obviously were showering yourself and it got caught that's actually horrendous I know I've done slightly similar nipple stories on my channel before but they, like these just literally I've never heard one about like the shower thing itself like I'm scared enough with the loofers now I've got to be care like scared of the shower itself <sighs> I can't believe it literally ripped your nipple open and you had to have surgery to put it back together. That's lit, oh my, I can't even imagine how much pain. Like literally that must have hurt so much. Like what in the hell? Choo choo, you got me triggered. So my grandmother, yes, my grand, your grandmother, what? So my grandmother got her tragus pierced with a gun. Oh for God's sake. All was well until she started noticing it was slowly getting deeper and deeper into her skin. She didn't think too much until one night we were on a train coming home from a family event and the jewelry was completely buried in her tragus. It was all bloody and almost looked like someone stabbed her in the ear. That's her absolutely horrendous. Her husband rushed her to the hospital as soon as we got home and they tried to pull it out normally, but they couldn't, so they considered surgery. My grandmother didn't want surgery, so she went through the hour process of doctors pulling back and forth at her ear until it eventually came out. She said it was a very painful process. I feel so sorry for your grandmother, the fact that she was like, yeah, oh God, ah, dropping my van, triggered. I'm down with the kids. I'm gonna get my piercing done and then it goes all wrong for her. I mean, she did get it done with a gun, so. Not really surprising, but that's really sad. Your grandmother's cool and then it went bad for her. Your poor granny wanny had a bad piercy weirsy. I'm sorry for her. I feel sorry for her. A different kind of horror story. Recently went to a local studio where I've been going for years with no issues for a bridge piercing. The usual piercer had left. Oh no, no. I'd be really like, if Veronica ever left my piercing studio, I'd follow her. <laughs> I'd be like, no, I'm going with you wherever you're going. <laughs> <laughs> the usual piercer had left and there was a new guy there with another girl in front of me getting some kind of ear piercing, think it was a scaffold. The way the studio is laid out, you can overhear everything when choosing jewelry. I overheard the piercer say, the only bar I have is far too long for your ear, but it's okay because I will use smaller bars which will downsize the bar. What? Who is this piercer? Who's... Oh my God, oh. Like changing the bars will change the length of the bar. He also advised this girl to use Savlon for hair. Oh my, do not put Savlon on new piercings, guys. That's absolutely stupid. I noped out of that before I turned and went to a different studio. The piercer did a banging, banging good job. Do not put Savlon on new piercings. And also, using a different size ball isn't gonna make the bar any shorter. What a dumb thing to... I mean, yes, some balls and things have a slightly deeper screw. There are some screws that kind of go all the way on the ball and some of them don't, but that's literally not gonna change really the size of the bar by anything ju like justifiable to actually make the claim. What an absolute buffoon. How is this person? That, that's a weird, that's a weird, ah! That's a weird story. So I was dropping my phone. That's a weird story. My horror story. I have my nipples pierced and now that I have a two year old who constantly climbs me like monkey bars, <laughs> I've accepted that I always have to wear a bra. One day I hadn't put a bra on because I had just woken up, big mistake, and went to change his diaper. He was going through a phase where he hated being changed and during his fits, he accidentally grabbed my left piercing and almost ripped it out. There was a massive rip inside of my nipple, but some miracle it ended up healing perfectly fine. I am surprised that healed fine. Like, I caught my nipple a long time ago and it's still not healing properly. Like, and the fact that he grabbed it and then pulled, no. I say this a lot, piercing should be kept away from animals and children. And that's the tea. So I'm well and truly on the trigger train. Choo choo, going down the railway, about to crash off the cliff and plunge to the death. Babyish. Oh my gosh, thank you so much to everyone who has sent me horror stories. As always, please hit the like button. Just really, really, really help me out. Share with your friends all that good kind of stuff. Come and follow me on my social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff down below. Yeah, definitely Instagram. You can send me lots of things for my next horror story um, or piercing stuff. 
And again, yeah, comment down below your horror stories and maybe I'll do it for the next one. Oh my gosh, I am so hot. I had to cut this video a tiny bit short because I'm literally like sweating and I can't, I can't cope, I can't cope. I'm on the trigger train just for the heat, let alone the stories. Anyway guys, be fabulous, amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be and don't let any bitch that they take on you because you are what? Flawless, yes!